the Scottish Cup final at Hampden Park between Celtic and Rangers. It's a record crowd, with 134,000 fans packing the stands and terraces, anticipating one of the most exciting cup finals ever played here. Rangers in their centenary year determined to beat the champions at all costs. Celtic in stripes and Rangers in royal blue. On a right royal occasion before Princess Alexandra. McNeil of Celtic wins the toss. For one, the match is over before it's begun. Rangers kick off, playing right to left. Sandy Jardine for Rangers, shoots but misses. And Rangers keep up the attack, refusing to let Celtic get into their stride. Rangers are playing vigorous and determined football, as if they'd only one thought in mind, to win the cup. Celtic attack, but the Rangers' defence holds firm. Connor to Rangers. The ball goes over the bar. Connor to Celtic. But no score. Connor to Rangers. But the final shot is high over the bar. Then Dalglish puts Celtic ahead in the 25th minute. But the triumph is short-lived. Hunter. And Parlin equalises for Rangers. Score one all. Hunter takes it lying down. Madison, Parlin, Kahn and Jardine. Celtic attack, but the Rangers' defence holds. Parlin for Rangers and Johnson for Celtic in a rough tumble. Corner to Celtic, but Rangers clear upfield. Ball to Kahn, but at half-time the score is still one all. In the second half, Celtic kick off right to left, but Rangers take the initiative even more forcefully than in the first half. A long clearance by Matheson, and Parlin and McNeil race for the ball. Con pounces to put Rangers in the lead. Rangers can see the cup almost in their hands already. But not yet. Callaghan leads an attack for Celtic up the left wing. shoots, but for a second Greg thinks he's a goalkeeper and it's a penalty for Celtic. Watch again for what happens. Connolly equalises, score 2 all. And then Johnston scores another for Celtic, but it's disallowed. Harlan for Rangers, and Forsyth pushes it home. Rangers ahead, 3-2. 
free kick for Celtic. The ball is blocked by Greg and Quinn. Rangers' Quinton Young is brought down. Celtic know it's getting late. They're getting desperate now. And when the whistle finally goes, the score is still Rangers 3 and Celtic 2. And manager Jock Wallace runs onto the field to congratulate his victorious players. A victory salute from Khan and Young. Some kind of love festival, maybe. After the match, the experts say that probably nobody could have beaten Rangers on this day of days. What they are trying to say is that if a team is determined to win, there's just nothing anybody can do to stop them.